This was our last main session of our prep. And of course, the lifts didn't go as planned. So last week, we were told that if you come in the morning at this gym, that it won't be crowded. So I had the whole workout plan in my head. I was so excited that we could listen to our own music. And then we show up, and it's packed. So I was automatically thrown off. Um, we actually had to start lifting um, from the floor in this corner. We didn't get the platforms until maybe after 30 minutes. So I was thrown off. My form was off. Um, I just did not feel like I have for the past few weeks. 341, you can see I kind of sh like kind of shake at the bottom. It wasn't hard, but I was just not liking the way I was pulling. Um, I think Scott knew I was pretty flustered, so he kind of stepped up and he got great deadlifts in. 530, just, it went up really smooth. Um, let's see, what weight is this? This is 361, so I went a little bit heavier than what my opener will be. And I just knew that this was just going to fly up. It actually moves really quick from the bottom, but once I get to the top, I can feel my blood blister rip and the bar just slipped out of my hand. So I just felt really unaccomplished. I was really upset. Scott came back and pulled his opener twice just because he knew I was just not having a good day here. So then the next day we moved on the bench and we were the only ones in there but Scott kind of self-sabotaged himself and I don't know what was going on but mentally he just wasn't confident and then kind of took that out on me. He just couldn't really get in the form because he used a little bit narrow of a bench than what he was used to here. This is a really easy lift. Um, it, it flew up. Um, 130, 136 for me. This is just a pound under my opener. It moved pretty well. Just working on my pausing. I'm just glad my butt didn't come off the bench because that's something that in my previous preps would happen. Um, see, you can see here, he was just, he wasn't happy. You can kind of see just the irritation on his face and I'm just look, kind of looking, seeing what's wrong. So this is going to be my opener. I've done this lift at comp multiple times, but never as an opener. It didn't really move as smoothly as I wanted. The bar path was a little bit off, but all in all, I was kind of happy with it. So 319, this was Scott's old opener. He told me, don't touch it. He wasn't, like the, he wasn't liking the way I was handing it off to him, so he did it himself. It, it went up fine. So 341. This is a pretty decent amount of weight. It no, really has been no problem for him, but he just is kind of getting in his head. He still wasn't happy with the way I was handing off to him. You can just see it in his face, kind of the frustration. And it when I see him like this, it's really hard for me to watch. I just want him to know that he's is a great lifter and I know he kind of compares himself to other people, but not everyone is doing construction, not everyone is walking 10 miles a day and he's self-coaching himself and he's also coaching me. So he has a lot going on. Just kind of wanted to show you guys just some of the, the struggles that we go through in our training. It's never smooth. So he's setting up again and you can see he has a bar over him for a long time, but he's holding that weight up for a while. He paused it and he, he managed to get it, get it up, but to him, this is not a good lift. And then only in Scott fashion, he goes for a, a bench PR, um, cause he's never had this in comp yet. And he was just not feeling strong. I don't know why he tried to go heavy, but he did. It's something that I do too. So he's just, he's just not happy. I ended up doing a, a few deadlifts light just because I felt off yesterday. I felt way better this day. Was able to lock it out. My hand ripped, so the skin's already kind of gotten healed. So my hand wasn't a problem. 
Um, we hate to end on this note with our prep, but things never go as planned. Stay tuned because next video will be our one day out from comp.